Welcome back to my channel. So basically today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is variation in demand and change in demand. Okay. So basically before we are going to start this topic we need to understand that is uh, what is law of demand and what is demand actually. Okay. What is demand? What is demand? Means desire. Desire. Or in other words we can say to us to us to have something okay so basically and in economic term it is known as demand is equal to desire plus willingness to buy ness to buy plus ability to purchase i hope you all know this okay so basically uh, before we going to start you need me you know the law of demand you have to know the law of demand what is law of demand when the price of a commodity increase demand for a commodity decreases and vice versa so both have a inverse relationship between okay so let us understand with both of this in a distinguished form so first one is variation in demand and another one is change in demand what is variation in demand when commodity rises or fall due to price alone please remember this thing due to price alone and other factor remain constant it is simply known as variation in demand okay what is what are the other factor taste preference habit income of consumer size of population okay and another one is change in demand what is change in demand when demand for commodity increase or decrease due to other factor and here price remain constant this is it is simply known as change in demand okay so let us understand what is variation in demand variation ha variation have two type number one is ex expansion or number two is ex contraction expansion is also known as con extension okay so what is expansion in demand when the price for commodity fall demand for commodity rises and what is contraction when the price of commodity rises then demand for commodity fall and <laughs> what are the common factor over here that other factor remain constant in both the point other factor factor remain mean what it mean it means changes over take place only due to reason of price change or price fluctuation okay so basically demand curve move downward direction on the same curve please remember this thing this is very important so de demand curve move downward slope or you can say downward side or di downward direction on same curve and another one is it is upward direction okay so expansion will be downward direction and contraction will be upward direction so let us understand with the help of diagram so you need to draw first y x two line first one is y axis and second one is x axis okay i will draw over here i will, I will draw, draw over here and then i will explain for the first you need to draw x axis y axis okay and this is origin so you have to draw first uh, demand demand curve this is demand curve okay so what is expansion of demand so when price for commodity fall okay this one is the original price this one is the original quantity demand so excess is quantity demanded in kg and this one is price in rupees okay so basically this one is and this is a new price and quantity demanded so as you see over here price is fall from p op to op1 and quantity of commodity 
rises from OQ to OQ1. So what it shows, it shows downward slope from A to B. Clear? Understood this one? So it is downward from and this shows price fall and this shows rise in quantity demanded. Okay, understood. And now I will explain another one is this one is contraction for contraction. This one is origin y axis x axis price in rupees then quantity demanded in kgs okay first what you have to do just draw demand curve like this this is dd1 because here you have already mentioned dd so you, here you have to mention dd1 so what this one is original price and this one is original quantity demanded so as you all know that what what says contraction of demand when price for commodity rises then demand for commodity form so this one is new price and this one is p2 and q2 so what shows over here price increase from p2 op2 op2 and quantity for uh, demand for commodity fall from o oq2 oq2 so this is fall in quantity demanded and this is a rise in price of commodity so it shows upward slope from b2 a understood this i hope you all get it this i hope you all get this diagram very easily in expression so what i have done over here this is from p to p1 first one is expansion of demand that is when price for commodity fall demand for commodity rises and when price for commodity in uh, uh, rises then demand for commodity fall i hope you all get it so in explanation of diagram what do you need to and what do you have to explain number one is dd is demand come this this point will both common in both the uh, option and another one is a downwards movement on the same demand curve from a to b a to b from a to b a to b okay from a to b and the again are upward 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 movement on the same down demand curve from b to a b to a and this indicates contraction of demand i hope you all understand this now let's move on change in demand okay what is change in demand again it is divided into two part number one is increase in demand number two is decrease in demand okay so what is increase in demand due to favorable change understand this thing due to favorable changes in other factor demand for commodity increases what is okay what is favorable changes for example if tomato right now tomato have a great high high price so when it will when the price for tomato will decrease then commodity then tomato will purchase more and more by poor people if the price is so high then demand for tomato will decrease okay so but basically this is favorable if the see if the reason or other factor is is in favor then commodity uh, will demand more by people if it is okay so basically if the content if the price or uh, if the other factor is in favorable then co commodity demand commodity demand more and if it is in unfavorable then the demand for commodity decrease okay okay so understand with the help of diagram so before we going to draw this diagram you need to understand that the it increase quantity demanded are more from right hand side please remember this thing all this diagram or new original new curve or you can say new demand curve 
is always on the right hand side in increase in demand when we talk about a uh, decrease in demand it always on left hand side on original demand curve it, it is known as a decrease in demand so basically when you draw this diagram you need to know that prices remain constant in both the side only quantity of demand increase or decrease due to other factor okay so suppose this one is the uh, y axis is price and x axis is quantity demanded so suppose p is original price and q is uh, original quantity demanded okay and this one is a, or this one is original demand curve okay so when due to other factor new new demand for commodity is arise over here from oq to oq1 and this one is original demand curve new original demand uh, new original demand curve from right side okay and from a, so quantity for commodity increase from a to b clear now next one is suppose let us assume that p is original price and q1 is original quantity demanded and due to unfavorable changes price will be the price will remain same but quantity for commodity demand decrease from b to a yani ki this one is the original demand curve and this one is the new demand curve from uh, b to a this means left hand side left hand side so basically when you will going to like explain this uh, diagram so first you need to understand that first point will dd dd shows dd's demand curve okay and another one is it shift to outward see this one is outward बाहर के साइड अगर होगा दिस वन इज आउटवर्ड एंड दिस अंदर के साइड होगा तो इनवर्ड ओके सो बेसिकली इंक्रीज इन डिमांड ए शिफ्ट टू आउटवर्ड टू द लेफ्ट राइट हैंड साइड डी 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 टू डी डी वन एंड दिस इंडिकेट इंक्रीज इन डिमांड एंड इन डिक्रीज इन डिमांड इट शिफ्ट फ्रॉम डी डी टू डी डी टू करेक्ट फ्रॉम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड left hand side or inward to the left hand side which indicates decrease in demand this is it so i hope you all are understand this topic clearly so uh, let me just take a short recap what is variation in demand and uh, what is change in demand what is variation in demand when commodity uh, when demand for commodity rise or fall due to price alone this is known as and other factor remain constant this is known as demand Uh, variation in demand when what is change in demand when uh, when demand for commodity increase or decrease due to other factor and price remain constant it is simply known as change in demand there are two type of variation demand expansion and contraction in expansion we see due to fall in price quantity demand more and contraction we see due to fall in due to rise in price demand of for commodity will fall okay and this is the diagram and change in demand is also two type due to favorable changes commodity demand more and due to unfavorable changes commodity demand decrease okay so that's it for the today lecture we will meet in another lecture for with new topic thank you so much everyone and yes Please do like subs do subscribe my channel and like my videos thank you so much